Okay, welcome back. I have my best guest in the world, my best buddy right now, Kristen Baer, doctor, obesity medicine specialist coming up. She's studying for her boards and taking a break for us. So, man, I'll tell you, this is a crazy story. One I wouldn't believe if someone told me. So I'm at Low Carb Boca and I'm just visiting and I meet this nice doctor. And I think, wow, she's so nice. What a cool person. But, you know, she's in Chicago and that's, that's great. So, you know, we'll connect and, and, you know, be friends and stuff and met a lot of great people there. And then I come back home and what do I find out? She wants to move to San Diego, California. And I'm in the situation that you just heard me talk about. And so Kristen, tell us, tell it, tell people about the conversation we had and kind of how we felt in medicine and what we're going through. Right. So when I met you in Boca, I wasn't really sure what was going to happen. I just know I'm beyond frustrated with the current medical system or sick care system and being expected to see 40 plus patients a day and not really having a lot of time to spend with them and knew something needed to change. And the big buzz in primary care right now is direct primary care, which allows you to you know, spend more time with the patient, maybe up to an hour with the patients without having to deal with hospital administration and insurance. And it was an idea floating in my head, but it was a little intimidated to kind of go on, out on my own. Then we were talking and you were kind of thinking about it as well. And then Two weeks later, here we are deciding to, to jump in. Yeah, the craziest thing in, in that conversation, you know, it, it, I could hear the emotion in your voice like saying, gosh, I'm just, it's kind of like you're running on a treadmill too fast. You're just digging and digging and they keep filling the hole in and, and you can't really make a difference because when you're so rushed and you know there's five patients waiting, you can't take an hour with that patient, even though you want to and they have needs, you see it, but you just can't address it. And we were both kind of commiserating about that and saying, gosh, it's so hard in this system. Uh, you know, to, to make a difference. Right. And when, especially when you're trying to counsel someone on lifestyle changes, completely revamping their diet, trying to explain to them how hunger and satiety work, um, how we can wean them off of their medications. I mean, if we're really revamping someone's lifestyle, it's going to take an hour <laughs> for, during that visit. And when you're scheduled to see four or five patients an hour, that's just not possible in the current system. Yeah, and then having continuity of care and just making sure uh, people are, are, are getting healthier. And, and then also, we could give them the rah-rah speech, but we don't have follow-up, right? That's the problem. For us, for me, we're so busy, I can't bring you in every week to take care of you. Now, with yeah. our new model that Tro talked us into, and Dr. Horvitz, so many, Molly Rutherford, um, uh, so many people have been so helpful to me. And, and then pushing me, say, Brian, you're, you got to do it. You got to, you're not doing good care. And I kept saying, yeah, 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 someday, someday. And I never thought it would be this is a shock to me as it was to you. And we yeah. were both, what's the odds of all, both of us at the same time saying, uh oh, I got to make a change, right? It, it's incredible. And you happen to be, and, and this is one thing, Rob Seif, are you listening? <laughs> You're the one who changed my life, really, you know, talking about the stress level. And I, I knew it, but sometimes when you step back and say, could I have a day of no stress? Could I have a day of not accomplishing something? And for us docs, it's, it's really unheard of. I mean, we just don't take care of ourselves. And we, it's, that's why we die sooner than the people we're taking care of, because we just don't. And so to go on this journey together, is just pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. So Rob, when, when you talk to Christian, you're like, oh yeah, you could kind of come out here if you want type thing. And I said, come, are you kidding me? I need you. We could do this thing. So you got to have more fire. No, I'm just kidding. This guy's a really, he's one of my best <laughs> friends, but really you saved my life twice that day and you don't even know it. And, but I'm going to talk to you. I'm calling you tomorrow. So we're going to have a good conversation. I'll rub it in this time. So that's yeah. Cool. But yeah, it's, it's awesome. Yes. So, so tell us a story. Tell us a little bit. So for people who don't know you, like how'd you get into the low carb stuff? How did that become uh, your, your wheelhouse, this metabolic disease? And how'd you get into it? Because we haven't even really talked about it yet. We just knew we liked each other. <laughs> right, right. So my uh, story goes back, my dietary history goes back to really um, probably in my early and mid 20s, I was diagnosed with lupus. And I was desperate. This is while I was in medical school. I was desperate to find a way to treat my symptoms and the disease without having to be on prednisone and Plaquenil and every other medication out there for the rest of my life, knowing the side effects of prednisone primarily being weight gain. And, you know, when you're in your early 20s, that's the last thing you want to hear as a female or anyone, right? So I 
started reading up on it and I came across a book that promoted a vegan diet for autoimmune disease. And I thought, all right, we'll give this a try. So I did. I was vegan for about five years and my symptoms actually got worse. And then I developed anxiety and depression and I actually gained weight um, looking back on it, probably because I was eating like jars of peanut butter a day just to feel <laughs> full. Um, yeah. But it was, it was a mess. And then I kind of stumbled upon um, the work of Rob Wolf and uh, became familiar with the paleo diet and the paleo autoimmune protocol. So I have eventually transitioned to that, which was a night and day difference. Um, definitely improved in a lot of ways when I started eating meat again and seafood. Um, and that, that helped, but I was still not where I wanted to be. Um, I was still on and off of prednisone. My dose was lower, but um, I didn't feel like my lupus symptoms were completely under control and I was still getting really horrible migraines all the time. Um, so I read this book called The Migraine Miracle by Dr. Josh Turknet, who's a neurologist. And he recommended the ketogenic diet or a version of the ketogenic diet as a means of treating migraines. And that was really the first time I'd ever heard of keto. I mean, we didn't get any any education about that in medical school and residency or anything. So I did a good, I don't know, five, six months of research on the ketogenic diet before I actually implemented it. Because all this time I'm thinking we need to be low fat, saturated fat is bad. You know, is this going to give me a heart attack? And once I felt secure enough in the research that it was safe and there are mechanisms behind why it works for neurological diseases and psychiatric diseases, I felt comfortable and went ahead and tried it. And within two weeks, my migraines were gone. I was able to get off of four medications. And that alone, if there was no other benefit to doing keto, that alone would keep me on this diet. Um, yeah, Going that's like Christian Assad, the same thing. Christian Assad, uh, yeah. the cardiologist, he had the same experience. And I've talked to multiple people who've had the same experience. That's amazing. Right. It really is. Yeah. It, now it doesn't surprise me. I can go, yeah, yeah, okay. I got another one. That's all right. But yeah, it's, tr it's amazing. There was a great presentation at the Metabolic Health Summit on uh, keto for migraines as well. I can't remember um, who, who gave it, but it was just, it was a great lecture breaking down the mechanisms there. But uh, what I wasn't expecting was that my lupus and autoimmune symptoms also got better pretty quickly. Um, and I was able to wean off, not only did I wean off of my migraine medications, but I was able to come off of prednisone. And I have been off of steroids for two years now, which is miraculous. Um, so the reason I started keto and kind of got into the low carb space was for disease management, specifically migraines, and then autoimmune disease improved as well. I lost weight, uh, my energy increased, just a plethora of, of benefits. And the more I was researching it, the more I became upset that this was, isn't taught <laughs> to medical students, to residents. Um, and especially now that we have the obesity and diabetes epidemics going on and how a low carb or ketogenic diet can really reverse these two diseases and keep people healthy. I thought this is, this is insane. I need to do more to get word out about it, to not just other doctors, but patients as well who wanna help take control of their health. But it isn't a simple you know, 15 minute visit to your primary care doctor. It's, it's gonna take multiple visits on a regular basis, longer visits, and our current system just is not designed to do that right now. So I'm super excited. We, we get an opportunity to help people uh, manage their diseases and introduce them to the low-carb lifestyle in an appropriate way, in the appropriate setting with their primary doctor. Yeah, and we're in a crazy situation. I mean, we're both concerned already saying, look, we're going to fill up quickly because we're only going to take 400 patients each when we're done. We're going to take care of all the kids at San Diego Christian. We're going to take care of the staff there, and they're super excited. They have a wellness program. They have so many things. They have a lecture hall right above us. We're going to be able to go there. We have a gym at, right down the street. It is an incredible – Chris, she hasn't seen it yet. I was just there today, and I'm telling you, uh, we have a chiropractor that's going to join us. We'll probably have a physical therapist consulting and – we're going to have people, we're going to take people off drugs and we're going to get them healthy. We're going to keep them healthy and, and, and help them feel better. And what we have to do, and this is what's crazy about what we do, 
is, and I've always said this is there's, we're not afraid of competition. If you want to set up a, a clinic right next to us, great. There's so many people out there who need it that we just can't help them all. And we want to, but how we're going to do that is we, we, we could give lectures. We could talk to the kids. We could have a, 500 people upstairs at this, at this lecture hall. And we could say, Hey, look, instead of saying it 500 times, this is what I've always believed was important with low carb and keto. That's why the low carb MD podcast is so powerful because we have all the experts. We have all these people. And now we have a new, new, new uh, member that they can fill in for me if I'm doing something. But really what we want to do is mentor other doctors and say, look, we can set the, the captives free. We, we can let you out of your chains because we're chained. We're afraid financially. We have med school debt and all that. And, and oh, Kristen, wow. what do you have to say? No, I just, I love that we're taking uh, the initiative here, not just for our own practice, but to help pave the way for other physicians, especially primary care, who want to break away from the current system and, you know, do work that they can be proud of with their patients and spend quality time and keep people healthy, opposed to just treating them when they're sick. Yeah, and then also the other thing that, that we're, we're going to be doing, which is awesome, this kid named Tro Kalasian, who I put up with for the last year or so, who's become my best friend in the world, um, so Tro says, Brian, we're going to help you guys. We're going to get you up and running because we're going to collect data together and we're going to show our success. And so what we're going to do is have remote blood pressure monitoring. So do we know if it's white coat hypertension, whether that you have it all the time? Does it spike during the day? Does it spike at work? Yes, because you're spiking your cortisol and your stress levels like I've been doing for 17 years. Guess what? I'm taking my own medicine now. And we are so fortunate. You know, really having a partner that says, Brian, I got your back. You want to go ahead to dinner with your wife? don't worry, it's, it's on me, I'm gonna take care of it. And, and, and I say the same thing. And just knowing that we could go on a vacation and not, not for 17 years, I've been stressed every time I leave, every time I come back, while I'm gone, I'm working. I'm trying to, because I'm buried all the time. So to be able to minimize this and focus on health, it's a disaster. It's like having a blown engine, you're trying to fix it all the time rather than changing the oil. And that's the, the situation with our medical system. And that's why this DPC, direct primary care is so powerful because we take we take the, the insurance companies out of the middle. We can provide better care, cheaper. Uh, capitalism works. So I can go down to the imaging place. My job is to negotiate and say, look, I've got, we have 800 patients. What kind of deal will you give them cash, right? If we go to the, the labs, what kind of deal do you give them cash? Because a lot of us have high deductibles. And from a business standpoint, just from the money standpoint, it makes sense for most people. Um, but, you know, being able, if you're, if you're struggling with obesity, um, we, and what we're probably going to do because we can't take on as, as many patients is we're going to help as many people as we can. And we're going to be doing, uh, obesity. We have a difference of opinion maybe, but not obesity. I think metabolic health, because yeah. it's not about the weight loss. It's about being metabolically healthy. So you could lose, I've had people lose two pounds and reverse their diabetes. I've had people lose five pounds and their blood pressure normalized. It's not the weight loss. It's the insulin sensitivity. Ben Bickman, one of my heroes. Uh, uh, Dr. Kraft, we all, they all said the same thing. Keep your insulin as low as you can. Watch your stress. So we're going to talk about stress management. We could talk to the kids about, you know, managing and not having that, that freshman 15. And hey, let's stay active. Let's go for walks. And we could take our patients and go hikes on hikes together. There's so many things we could do. I, I, I'm a member of CKO Kickboxing. So I'll say, hey, can I bring my, you know, 30 of my people in and we kickbox together and have fun together and laugh and enjoy and build a community man, we could give talks. We, we could, we're going to watch fat fix together if, if they'll let us do that. So man, we're going to have so much fun. It's like, right. We have passion. Trust me. I've come home every night and said, I'm beat. I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm just feeling like I can't get it. Kristen was saying the same thing. And now we're both so fired up. It's like, we can't sleep. We're talking to us. Like, can you believe it? Let's do this. Let's, let's maybe we'll have a massage therapist at night to calm people's nerves, whatever we, there's so much we can do when we have time to think doctors are smart people. But when we're sleep deprived, stressed, tense, thinking we have all this stuff, you know, Rob, honestly, you saved my life in that uh, understanding. And Jason Funk saved it first. And then you come along. So I think it's the more we're around, the more we talk to people, the more we experience, we say, gosh, we're not immune. Doctors think we're immune to this. And, and it's like a badge of courage that you stay up for three days in a row or that you, you, right. you haven't been home in days. Right, Kristen? It's a rite of passage, it seems like. And with residency training, no one changes anything because that's what the doctors before you did and you're running around working 16 hour days and six days a week. And yeah, it's, it's not a good system, but I think we, I'd like the focus on metabolic health. And I think that's where our clinic is really going to be separated from traditional primary care 
mm -hmm. uh, practices because we are going to focus on metabolic health and preventing insulin resistance or reversing it and reversing diabetes and keeping people healthy in the long run. And so they don't develop these conditions like hypertension and diabetes and heart disease and other lifestyle uh, diseases that come with, you know, simple modified or modifications of their diet. So I think there's a, a lot of potential to focus on metabolic health, and I think it's going to be a huge benefit to our patients from every age. Yeah, I think one thing is really now, here's how we're going to reach the community. And I've always felt this way, because testimonies speak. What we do, what I see clinically, everyone says, whatever they want to say, I see it. I can't unsee what I've seen. Trust me. I, we've seen it all, and it's, it's almost like, uh, what's the word? Uh, snake oil. Because you look at it, like, it works this. Yeah, my friends go, oh, you hurt your knee, do keto, right? But there may be true that you decrease inflammation, your knee, knee may heal faster. Right. It, does, it, it <laughs> does decrease inflammation, and we know this. It inhibits inflammasomes. And I think people that jump on the keto bandwagon don't realize how powerful ketones actually are, signaling molecules and uh, chemical messengers as well. They just see it as a weight loss fad and it's really so much more powerful and going down to the metabolic level too just the improvements in the lipid profiles that we're seeing and all these other benefits uh that are independent of weight loss as well it's it's really astounding and exactly exactly right. you, like you i don't know if i told you but i was having an allergic reaction to something in my office for a year and a half and i was taking prednisone all the time and of course and what's going to be interesting, we're going to see what happens. I, I, it's going to be remarkable. Tro says he lost 30 pounds in the first month or so of practicing, 32 pounds of changing his practice over it because even though it was stressful, he goes, it was way less stress than what I was doing because I'm helping people now. And so he dropped his insulin level. So I've been on a super, I mean, as I've been dropping weight like crazy lately and it's finally kicking in somehow. And it may be because I have hope at the end of the rainbow or whatever, yeah. <laughs> but, but it's, uh, you know, I think getting that cortisol under control stress I think that's going to benefit us a lot. We, we're doing right on diet and, and now exercise will be, we have exercise. Yeah. So we have no excuse to have, we don't exercise. We have a river behind where we're at this place. If I could imagine where I wanted to practice, if I could write down everything and what partner I wanted, and there's nothing like this. One week ago, I was the biggest stress case of the world walking out of a meeting saying, I'm done. That's it. I'm walking away. I'll find something else to do. I'll figure it out. And then here we are doing this. It is, the craziest thing. It is like the craziest thing I've ever seen. And everyone said, oh, I could do website design. Okay. Do you want to do that? I could do business part side of it. I have financing. I have this. You need this. Here you go. You want a waterfall for every place? There you go. And it's incredible. You want an a, a, a yeah. auditorium upstairs? Right next door, we have a coffee bar and, and a ping pong and a foosball and, and basketball hoops. It's incredible. We've got young, healthy people that we can mentor, that we can breathe life into. I have my daughter at that school that I can hang out with. And, and it's, it's just like, the, and, and the chancellor, all these people are great people. And they're like, we can't wait to have you here. We're so excited. Can you partner with us on this and that? Can we do, uh, we're here. We're, we're not doing anything. We're not rushing crazy. Now we can be real doctors and we can help people on a huge scale. And it's, it's, fina it's phenomenal. It's crazy. You know, it's been so amazing to me is the amount of support we have from the low carb community. Everyone saying how there's a need for this and they wish their doctors would do this. And people whose lives have been changed by the low carb movement are just volunteering to help us, help us with the website, help us with the business plan and design. It's really been spectacular and so appreciated. But people in the community and in the low carb space are really excited about this. And hopefully it, it does lead the way for change for other practices as well. So seeing that it is doable and, and you're not going to be alone and you're surrounded by support and people that have done this. Yeah. And, and also I, I want to uh, highlight the DPC people, direct primary care. They're like, look, Brian, here's your resources. Go here, do this, do that. And it's incredible. They're so helpful. Here's my cell phone number. They don't know me. Oh, they so may fun. know me from the podcast. Some of them do. And they love what we're doing. And so look, we're, we're like-minded and this, this is the, the thing that's going to push it over the top because guess what? I could help people all over San Diego, all over, you know, I'd like, Tro, look, let's split the country. You take the East Coast. I'll take the West Coast. We'll meet in the middle and we'll have a nice steak together, right? And maybe some low-carb wine. As a matter of fact, my sweet partner here surprised me today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> some Dry Farms wine. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I like it. And my wife and I will have some Dry Farm wine. Another guy comes by, a friend of mine, 
uh, fresh ahi. My neighbor brings over avocados, right? It's great. And I get Jason Fung's new book, right? With, with Nadia. Yeah. And I was like, what kind of day is this? Then I go for a long hike with one of my best friends and we just talk about life. And it, I'm like, this is what I've been missing all the time. Like God's sake, look, I'm going to throw all this at you one time and overwhelm you like crazy. And what a day. This is one of the best days of my life, really. So I'm glad I could share it with you all. And well, um, you have to tell them why I sent you dry farm wines. It's because your wife made us an incredible dinner the other night, a keto friendly dinner that was outstanding. And it was, the wine was really for her. I just put your name on it as well. All right. <laughs> it really is a thank you to her. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if she shares. Maybe she'll share. I'm sure she will tonight. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, it's so, it's just so crazy because you know what? A happy doctor, you, you have the two happiest doctors. We're the most blessed people on earth right now. I'm telling you, seeing that clinic walking through there and it's like I, exactly what we need. Here it is. It, you know, it's incredible that the amount of healing that's going to come out of that place. And on the outside, it says, you know, a bunch of healing words, a lot of good stuff that was there already. It was set there for us. People wrote their fears and, and, you know, having life balance and stress, all this stuff that I've been talking about. I have a, a picture I could put right next to that about how we're struggling against these things. And really, I, I really think that we can help a lot of doctors get started out and say, look, you have 300 patients in Albuquerque, let's provide it. Because I have emails from people that say, I'm in this town, where can I get a doctor? I have no idea. I really don't. Because what we want to do is build a network because as we grow, we're going to destroy the, the standard of care. We are because we have a better, the, the old standard is obviously we're packed. Why are we sick? Why, why do we have 10,000 people in our waiting room? You know, it's because people are sick and we're saying, here, here's a pill for that. Here's a pill and not looking at the underlying cause. So until we do that, we're going to do that. And some of our patients make it so healthy. They say, you know, doc, we don't need you anymore, but I don't think anyone's leaving. And I think, you know, the, the hard thing is, um, uh, you know, here's the deal. This is why direct primary care is powerful. Because if you think about it as a triple A model, right, uh, uh, automobile club, uh, if you have a bunch of people driving Lexuses, brand new, they're not going to need us. But the people who have broken down, beat up cars, they need us a lot. And we can make a difference in those. But we can't if everyone has a broken down car. So that's the problem with the system. We have to have enough healthy people that are going to support the people who really need us that we can say, look, we're going we're gonna to invest hours in you to get you right. And then guess what? At the end of the week, we can say, we're going to have a conference Friday night. We can put all of our patients up there and say, look, we're going to, instead of saying it 50 times here, let's, let's really solidify this. We, we both can give discussions and bring in expert, experts, physical therapists, uh, health coaches, people that, so that people can say, I like that person. I want to follow them. I want to follow this person. And it's, it's the power of community is amazing. It is. And I think that's a huge benefit to what we're doing and the ability to monitor patients remotely, monitor their blood pressure, monitor their glucose. When things start to fall off track, we can touch base. We don't have to wait a month to see them again. And we can get our patients together with other patients in the area. They can do their own meetups and really establish a sense of community within the low carb world for them. And the support is going to be phenomenal for the patients, for us, other uh, physicians that want to start this type of practice. It's, it's really great. Yeah, and for us, you know, having Tro, Tro said, it's no big deal. I'll show you how to set it up. I'll do the software. I'll, and, and that's huge. And that's what we want to do for other docs is be able to say, look, <laughs> we can come in. I could have someone train you on that. Uh, you know, I haven't even done it yet. And I'm telling you, once we start rep and running, you know, Chris and I, we, we could just go and, and help people out and, and, um, yeah. say, and, and say, don't be scared. Look, you're stepping off a cliff, <laughs> you know, but the, the, there's going to be a pathway underneath you. And, and here we go. Because when you're a real doctor again, try, like we, we can't stand it. We're so excited it, it, to know yeah. what the impact that we could sit down. I wish you could have been with me today walking across the campus. I was like, it was a, like everyone was so excited and so happy. And people, it was a, it's just such a place of healing. And it's so great. You're surrounded by positive, great people and, you know, young people that are, you know, you know, I see a lot of them I can help. I look at them like I can help that guy. And if I have time, we are going to change his life forever right? You're not going to be like Tro and be 350 pounds and have to do the disaster stuff he had to do to get to where he is now. You know, we can prevent, the, prevent it before it happens. That's why exactly. us, us docs, we get the satisfaction of saying, look, I see, I, I could see the finished product when I look at you and say, look, we got this. We got, I mean, we're confident. That's how I feel. When my friend says, Brian, 
I got the business part. Yeah, he has 40 businesses. He's got it. He's got the finances. We need it, you know, hopefully not. But, you know, you look at that and say, I got, I know web design. I don't know anything about that. If I try to do it, I'll, I'll mess up everything. I've, I've tried it before. Trust me. <laughs> so all that stuff, podcasting, I had no idea. I'm like, I'll read the book. I'll look, I'll look on YouTube. I'll, I'll, we figured it out. Here we are. And, yeah. you know, it's low budget. You can see I do it in my room. I don't have fancy lights and all that stuff. But this is real life. This is what we're doing. And um, maybe we'll have a fancy studio sometime the way things are going. You know, you never know. Maybe. But, Maybe in our office. <laughs> but just the fact that we can go for a walk around the block with our patient or we can go over, over and shoot pool while the kid's talking to us about life problems and things like that. This, there is nothing better. I got to lift weights with Ben Bickman. Trust me, this is awesome stuff because, <laughs> you know, you connect and you get to talk to each other. Tro and I got to, you know, with Ken Berry, we got to hang out. So, you know, there's, there's something to be said to be outside of the standard um, practice. There's health. We need to change how we're doing it. And, and I think, I think... Tro, you're wrong. You said do it on your own without a partner. Not this time. This is 100% an awesome <laughs> fit because I go, I don't like to do that. She said, I love to do that. She doesn't like to do this. I love to do that. So there's certain things Tro loves and I don't like, and, and we're a perfect fit also from the podcast standpoint. So how we all do our part, and it's just so much fun. I mean, it's just, we're having a blast. I'm having, this is, I've had, <laughs> this last week, and Chris is going to agree, I've had the most tears, the most laughter, the most stress, the most peace. It's the I'm starting to think I might be on my menstrual period. I'm not sure because I, I, I know my when wife says I don't. I, I, I it's just that time because I'm freaking out for no reason. I'm like that's how I feel right now. Full of women. <laughs> What's that? So you are in a house full of oh, women. <laughs> I'm totally. I, even my two dogs are female. I, I, I can't win. But you know, it's it's you know what I'm so. This is my happy place. This is you know you've been here. Yeah. It's the best place on earth with the best kids and and uh, just so blessed and. For 17 years, I was here an hour a night and, and a little bit on the weekends, on call every fourth weekend. And now I look, it's like, holy cow. The fact that, that you know, and also that our, tra our patients will appreciate us and respect us and say, hey, look, we're not going to pay you. You know, like AAA, I don't, because I have the service, I don't call them every day just because I have the service because I'm healthy. So if we do our job and we educate, we have the easiest job in the world because we have healthy people or we make them healthy. Guess what? When they come back, because we can invest the time now. Before I couldn't, and I was frustrated because I had 15 minutes for an hour consult. It doesn't work, and then you have four patients, and I'm there till 10 because I want to help, but I want to go home too. You know, so this is the conundrum we've been in. This is where I haven't been happy as a result, and a lot of us docs to listen to me on this one. Uh, finances scare us, and we're and we're not good business people. But if we bring in the right people, we can do it. We can do it. I mean, it, it's very attainable. As a matter of fact, Kristen, can I, I want to hire my neighbor if I can talk her into it. She's a, she's a, to get us started. She's awesome. She's what does awesome. She we'll do? see. We'll talk about it in private, <laughs> yeah. but, but we'll talk about it. But anyways, I, I'm just throwing it out there. But you know, we need people who are confident in what they do and say, look, here's the laws. Here's what you have to do. Here's DPC. Don't spend 30 hours yourself. Let someone else do it sometimes. And, and, and what the benefit I have is Tro has done it and he's looked at the mistakes and he understands what works and what doesn't work. And, you know, in practical, he's done it in practice. Theory is all one thing is we're talking about with everything in medicine. You can read in the book and think, you know, trust me, you, you don't know what's going to happen because obviously it's not working when you tell patients, oh, eat low fat, eat, eat, you know, exercise more than you eat. And it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Now we say, look, here we go. We're going to monitor your sugar spikes. We're going to call you. We have someone that will call you and say, Hey, uh, Why'd your sugar go to 200? Oh, you know what? I went to Lily's party and then, you know, and we can say, hey, let's catch it now. We got you. Okay, let's, we got you, right? It's going to be okay. Let's bring it down. And we're going to work on that stress. Why are you stress eating? We're going to work on life. We'll have people come in and talk about whatever. Rob, we'll have Rob come in and talk about dopamine fasting. And I'll do it. I'm going to do it now. I'm like, <laughs> okay, Rob, I can, we can do it because we'll let her do all the work. That's all good, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. No, it's 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 going to be great. And it, it gives us hope again for medicine and uh, how treatment is being served in, in this country, right? I can't remember the last time I was excited and invigorated about going to work or what we will be saying going to work because right now it's just, it's defeating. You're trying to get through the day and you're prescribing pills and not really doing the lifestyle education as much as you want. And this is just going to be a great model and really gets me excited to be a doctor again after a burnout period. Yeah, you know, really, I mean, we've all, been, you know, the, the female suicide rate among physicians is 140 times the general population. That is unacceptable because look, 
you don't have to sacrifice being with your loved ones. You don't have to, you, you can say, look, let me help people. The people I can, you can't help everyone. You really can't. But what you can do is impact a huge amount because us docs, when we have clinical experience and we're doing this, we can give lectures, we can talk, look at the podcast, how many lives. When I go to places and people hug me and, and, and you know, I get emails from family members say, oh my gosh, I listen to your podcast and my life changed. It's amazing and, and that's rewarding. It's not about the money for us. It's not about the money because I'm telling you, when I'm in Guatemala City and someone gives me a hug and thanks me and cries and says, you know, I appreciate you coming here. And it, that is worth more. No one knows what that experience is like. And I'm going to drag a couple people down there and, and let them experience because it's, it's life changing. Yeah. Kristen, I don't know if we can go together unless we find someone to cover us. But, you know, we'll call Tro and we'll have Tro come cover us for the weekend. And Perfect. We'll Tro can cover. I need to brush up on my Spanish. But <laughs> yeah, I need to brush. But mean. now, you know what? Now we have time. You're right. Now we have time. You know, studying for the boards, just think if we were doing this practice, how easy it would be for you to study for the boards. You have 20 minutes between patients, you study, you're not doing labs, you're not arguing with the insurance company on the phone. Trust me, you're going to see where I, I was just thinking about when I was how much dumb work I was doing last week. And, and it's like, I want to start now I want to be just get in yeah. there and, and change lives. And uh, so we have a lot of work to do to get the clinic going. But man, oh, man, it's like, all of us shake our head like this they're using it for a storage unit right now. And it's a, a whole medical build out. So we just have to turn a little screws and put a, a little pictures in. And it's, in, it's like, it's super, super crazy. Tro had to buy this thing and rip it all out and do this thing. It took him like six months. Oh my gosh, Tro, you're going to be so jealous. I love this so much, right? <laughs> I got to pick on Rob and Tro on the same thing, but you but know, Tro really. has been awesome in helping us and, yeah. and, volunteering to help us get underway and everything set up and I, I can't bash Tro like you can he's been hugely helpful <laughs> no you know what I'll tell you you know I, I can't bash Tro at all he is <laughs> I probably wouldn't be taking this stuff without Tro I, I wouldn't be because yeah. the podcast wouldn't have happened I mean we so so many of these things if you guys if you knew the backstory on this with uh with Kristen and me like she wasn't going to go to the conference Doug asked me to speak and I, I was so busy I, I'm like I was too busy to go. I was too busy, but you know what? Darn it. You want me to speak in, in Houston, other places, and I can go? We'll do it. You want Kristen to come? We'll do it because we'll have time now because we have patients who are healthy. And then guess what? You're a doctor with it. no one. It's never in medicine. We haven't had uh, uh, like this where we're going to have a bunch of healthy patients. No one's known how to do it now. Now we know. Now it's easy. Now we say, okay, you're healthy. We're, let's talk about sports. Photo video conference me and we could do this just like we're doing now. I could talk to my patient and see how you're doing, what's going on, how's the weight loss going, and how, uh, how's the sugars. You don't have to drive all the way to Santee, but I'm telling you, our place is unbelievable. Waterfall yeah. in front and a bunch of great people. People want to come here, but they'll be too healthy. They'll say, Well, I don't have anything. Let's just do it on I the phone. I want to and... see you. I'm feeling good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. From patients, never. Oh, you can bring us salmon. You can bring us wine like I got and avocados. And, you know, it's a happy day. I'm telling you, this is a great day. And yesterday was one of the hardest days I've ever had. You know, I had a, a lot of stress. You know, it, it's hard when you're leaving a practice and there's a lot of uh, tension and, uh, you know, and indecision on, on, on both parts. And, and uh, it, you know, I, I'll, all, of my, all of my partners have counseled me and said, you're, you're taking a big risk and you're doing crazy stuff. And are you sure you're, you know, you're walking away from security? I was like, you know. It's easy when you have Kristen. It's easy when you have Tro. It's easy when you have uh, so many great people around you. It, it, it really, you have a parachute. Now you can say, okay, I, I feel like I can break loose. I mean, really for me, it's a freedom I haven't had in years. You know, to go on a hike like this today. Now tonight, I'll, I'm still going to be catching up and working. But I know I can work hard because there's light. There's light there. And so many people are thinking this is just, it's unbelievable. And, and I think I think the suicide rate is so high just because we feel like failures because we're not doing what we set out to do. And we're seeing our patients get sicker and sicker and we have no life and they're getting sicker. And then we're more stressed because they're sicker and we're trying to check more labs and figure out what's going on rather than saying, okay, here's the underlying problem. Let's fix it. Let's change the spark plugs and see what happens. Your car's running fine now, right? Yeah, absolutely. Get that insulin resistance under control and many things improve. Yeah. And that's what we're saying. Get, get that right. And, and so Kristen, I'm telling you, I'm, so happy. I'm so happy that we met. I'm so happy that you were nutty enough to say you wanted to come to California and get your California license. And, and we're going to do such great things and laugh and have a good time while we're doing it, you know, not be stressed and, and time pressed and be able to consult each other and say, what do you think about this? Have you seen this before? And, you know, if there's suturing, it goes to you because you did you know, all that. I love suturing. Send that all to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I don't want to do that stuff. And, 
yeah <laughs> but but maybe you'll teach me too and i'll and i'll teach you a little spanish and you know Perfect. have fun with our staff and and enjoy each other the, our our dr grant who's coming to join us and she's been an unbelievable support mentor and and i thought there was no way we'd be able to all be under the same roof and it is a miracle because we'll be best friends and we'll hang out and we'll have time to do stuff I don't have time to hang out with my partners now. I don't have time to laugh with them. We're, we're too busy. We can't, my thinking has always been, look, if I'm sitting there talking to staff, uh, that's, that's time from the hour I have with my wife. Now it's like, Hey honey, you want to get lunch? Cause I'm right across the street, right? My, my nice patients are healthy and I, I can come over and if they need me, I'm five minutes away and I'll be there. So to have the freedom, I don't leave my office. I, in 17 years, I've had lunch twice outside my office with friends twice, one friend from Dubai, one from, from New York. My good friend that I went for a long hike with today, he went to go, he went to have lunch last week. I said, look, Friday I could do it because I'm doing the podcast and goofing around and trying to find my new place. And, and so we had a blast and he's kept me out there and tried to kill me. I have video that I'm going to put it on here too, so you can see it. But nice. again, Patreon supporters and, and so many people for Low Carb MD. Thank you so much. Docs, thank you for listening. And, and uh, uh, listeners, thank you for taking it to your docs because sooner or later people will listen. You know, once you listen, you start saying, oh my gosh, let me look and let me try it myself and see what happens and guess what you know what's going to happen I'm, I'm going to make a prediction i know it's true some of the docs in town and, and we may just say we'll do a pro bono send two of your hard diabetics that you can't control and see if get, let us see if we can do a magic trick for you and if we can we'll send you back a healthy we're not going to take your patient because we can't and we'll send you back a healthy patient see what happens insurance companies guess what uh hmo send us a couple of years we'll do a pro bono and see i'm telling you We'll do it and we'll, we'll have fun doing it and the patients will love us and we'll send them back to you and they'll be healed and ha happy. And then you'll have, have a little bit less stress when, uh, also, but you'll be super jealous of us. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're gonna be jealous. And we might even have time to do some case reports and case series and get some research going, legitimate research and case studies on low carb and ketogenic diets and really help get this movement moving forward in the published literature too, just as a, a whole. Yeah, we're going to team up with Tro and Ben Bickman. You know, he said, send me data. You know, we'll, we will have extensive data. And, and we may even be logged in. If Tro can figure it out, we'll be maybe even logged in with the same system. So I don't even have to talk to him. And he can look at all my data and figure it out once we, you know, once we get everything figured out from HIPAA and all that, like uh, uh, patient yeah. confidentiality. And, and, and so if patients want to do a study, that this is something that, you know, and plus, once we start, this is what the, the, the big vision we have is once we start building practices down the street, down the street next to, you know, you get one in Texas, you get one here, you get one there. All of a sudden what happens is we have tons of data and, and tons of clinical experience to share. Exactly. And then it, 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 you can't argue that they, you know, people say it's anecdotal, not when you have tons of studies and tons of people and you see us at the beach hanging out and everyone else is working hard. Right. Trust me. And it's just, it's such an emerging field with all the research going on to beyond metabolic health. Um, and Chris Palmer is doing some amazing things out uh, in Boston with psychiatric disease and you have all the cancer research going on as well and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and ADHD. I mean, this, I think we're just at the beginning of this movement really taking off. People are just starting to tap into its full potential. Yeah. And, and really and with us, I'm telling you with these kids, depression, anxiety, stress, if we can get their diets right, we're going to help them. I see it over and over. When the movie, The Fat Fix comes out, guess we're showing it. We're showing it right upstairs at our place. And it's going to, it's going to change lives. I'm telling you that movie, I'm touched by it already. And I haven't seen the movie, but I've just seen the clips, some of them. And I'm like, wow, this, this is super power and it's real. And it's not, it's not uh, propaganda. There's no one with right. agendas. For me, look, I've never taken a dime from anyone. So I, I don't care. I'll, I'll take a dime from, from my Patreon supporters but I'm not taking it from meat. I'm not taking it from vegetables. I'm not taking it from anyone. I even dry farms and I'm going to have some tonight. Thanks to my partner here. But uh, you know, it's really the fact that we've maintained our integrity and say, look, this is what works. I'm going with what works. If you, you know, if you find something else, then we change it. If the, the data says something else, we'll change it. So I think it's so important that, that um, we maintain that integrity and say, look, we can, we can spread this thing. We can help other docs. You're not our competition. Trust me. We have no competition because we're, we're already stressed out because I, I was with a friend just now and he, he said, we're going to send all of our staff to you. I said, select. I want people who I can help, people who are willing to, to, to make changes. Because if you're not, just go, you're wasting your money. Go to a standard doc. Just go there and, and take more drugs. That's what you're going to do. And yeah. then you're going to be sick and miserable and tired. Then sooner or later, you're going to call us and say, sorry, we're full. But we, open it, we help someone else open a practice down the street from us or down the block from us or, or in the next city because it's going to happen because the word's getting out. Trust me on that. Yeah.
Well, tell the, tell the listeners about your movie. I, I want to hear more about this movie that's coming out. You keep talking about it. I don't know much about it. Well, it, it's, it's called Fat Fiction. And uh, it's by Wide Eye Productions. And, and they almost killed me, by the way. I went hiking at Mission Trails. Where, and I almost stepped on I told, we, we talked about it. I almost stepped on a rattlesnake. Barely. And they were freaked out. They're like, okay, we're done for the day. Because they said, go up that trail. We're going to have you, me and a buddy hiking down and stuff. And I, a rattlesnake went right under my foot. And it, my buddy was behind me. And he had hyperventilated, started panicking. And I just barely stepped over. And it took off. It never looked at me. It just went. But the, the, what they did is they followed me through the chur- at the church. They followed me when I was giving a talk to a men's group. And um, uh, it went my patients in the clinic. And, so, and then they have all these stories of people who got better and what they did and how they made life changes. It's, uh, it's like the magic pill, something along those lines. But mm-hmm really focus on patients and, and um, you know, their lives and how, how it changed. So when you see it, you can't unsee it, you know, and these are real people that I know and I know their story. And some of the stuff surprised me. I'm their doctor. And I was like, wow, I didn't realize that guy struggled with depression and anxiety and he felt better and his mood got better. And I've seen people uh, scheduled for knee replacement. They go keto and or low carb and they don't need their knee replacement where they feel better. And by the way, they, they came off, that lady came off four or five medicines on one day. Six weeks of keto. Six weeks. Her A1C goes from nine, eight point nine, to six point two. Oh, I mean, in six that's weeks. That's better than any medication you have available. That's better than any medication. Mm-hmm. Nothing right. could have done that. Insulin could have lowered the A1C a little bit, but then she's going to gain twenty pounds. She lost fourteen pounds in the process. Normalize her blood pressure. You don't yeah. think I'm her hero now? She looks at me like she's she's a, and I fought for years. I told her, "Look, you're in trouble." That's what I mean. Doctors are frustrated because they think people aren't listening, but sometimes they're, they're listening, but we're giving bad advice. Yeah. You know, when they say, don't skip breakfast, eat six times a day, you're filling up your train with sugar all day long, and then they wonder why you get diabetes. It's, it's common sense. When you understand physiology, it changes. Jason Fung, you know, all these guys, you, you, when they understand, they say, look, that's not how it works. This is how it works. You know, fasting is not working by calorie restriction. What it's doing is, is, is cleansing. It's a liver cleanse, really. It's, it's making you burn up the fat and, and sugar in your liver because you have no choice. Because we've never eaten the way they told us to, and they were wrong. And they were, they were bought off, and they, they gave bad advice. So guess what? We're going to do this, and we're going to say, okay, diabetes educators, here, look at our numbers for 24-hour glucose monitoring. Look at the numbers, and you tell us we're wrong right? Yeah. I could do it because I've done it to myself and I, I know the data and I know how it works. So when we get this knowledge and we try to share it and pe- people don't listen, it is super frustrating for us. So we say, look, let us take the ball and we'll do it. And then you can call us nuts when our patients are saying, look, guess what? Here's my word. We will never advertise. We will never need to advertise. Why? Because our best advertising is success. We have patients do well. You don't, you think Tro has to advertise everywhere? No. He just talks about it and so, says, look, here's what I'm doing. Guess what? That patient who's a bartender or a a nail tech or hairdresser or a dentist, whatever, they're going to go and they're going to tell people all day, oh my gosh, you look great. What happened? What did you do? Oh, the, that crazy Kristen lady who came from the Midwest came and like showed me something and it wasn't that hard and it was easy and I didn't have to starve myself and I didn't have to struggle and I didn't have to eat Melba toast and I didn't have to eat uh, rice crackers. You know what? And then Kristen and I go next door and we have a cup of coffee and enjoy life. Man, doesn't get any better than that. Right? It doesn't. doesn't get any better than that. And she's going to hit it off with everyone. I mean, this office, it's going to have the most positive people that I've ever met. I mean, it is incredible to be around positivity all day. There's something about that. Uh, positive attracts positive. And if you're kind and decent and nice and you attract those people and we joke and laugh, patients sense that. When there's tension, I've experienced a lot of tension. I've been tense because I, I'm thinking, look, you're 15 minutes late. I have 30 people to see. I, I don't have time for this. The pilot's not true. As a matter of fact, for the first time in a long time, I was so stressed the other day. A guy, he, he's been late three times and they brought, he came in 17 minutes late for a 15. I said, forget it. I'm working until 1030 every night. Ain't going to happen. I'm not turning the, not this time. I've told him three times. So it's like that. We want to be nice. You want to be a cop because we're a service industry. Guess what? What kind of services you walk in and you go straight back. Here you go, doctor. You don't send that. There's no waiting room. We have a, I just saw this on, it's a, it's a living room because we're living. We're not waiting. That's right. If you're sitting there, it's because you, you just want to sit there and talk and chit chat. That's all good. But you're not going to be waiting for me. Ain't going to happen because we, we, our patients are going to be healthy unless we're talking about sports or, and get distracted or something. But, you know, it, it is, I'm telling you, it, if you look at the dream situation for a doctor, because I could take that patient around the, around the, the campus and it's peaceful and, and nice. And there's a little waiting room outside. If you want to sit outside and talk, let's do that in the sun. We'll get a little vitamin D. I've been locked in my cage. I mean, it is it's like I'm getting out of prison to tell you the truth. It's not that it's so bad, but it's like, hey, there's my beautiful wife. Hey. I knew you were a 
you can come. No, no, we're still we're still recording. You can come and say, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> see, she gets to see me this more. This is our life. This is where he does his little podcast. See, like Perfect. this is high, th man. This is high class the way we do it. My wife's walking in on us and having fun. Is she yeah. Yes. Do you think she's excited? Give me a break. Hey, so did you? Yes. <laughs> Linnell, the the dry farm wines. Guess who sent us that? She sent it to us. Dry farm. You didn't see it. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. But I didn't Anyways, know it came from. we're still recording. Sorry, everyone. This you is are? live. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! I did not know. <laughs> really, what? She's like, she's gonna say after a couple of weeks of this, she's gonna say, "Go back to your old job. Go back to your old job." <laughs> I'm done with it. Oh, but man, I'm telling you, this this lady, this lady is amazing, and and everything she, you know, she put up with a guy who is not just broke, but 50, um, you know, $500,000 in debt coming out of school. And, and uh, you know, that's a, that support, you know, docs, don't forget that, you know, that you have someone there that puts you through school, does that, remember that, count your blessings. And I'm going to do podcasts on that kind of stuff to say, look, positivity, you know, great lessons I've learned in life. I'm going to drag Kristen on and, and have her share some of her stories. And I've met some of the most remarkable people and it's like the story has to get out. And now that I have a little platform, I'm going to do it on YouTube. And, you know, some guys I've met in Guatemala that sacrificed their life to help others. MS-13 members that, that are now clowns that are helping people. These stories are so positive. They, I mean, we've been nailed with negativity. We have to get the positive out. So we're going to do stuff. I'm, I'm going to make Kristen do it with me and not be scientific. She could do all the studies and all that stuff, but I want to do the fuzzy stuff. Troll <laughs> like that too. He goes, you, you talk about that stuff and I'll talk about, I love this stuff. I love hearing someone helping other people or, or you know, helping them to jump. Cause you know what, there's so many people right now when, you know, and I'll tell you when I, as, as just as, cause I like to talk, um, as a side, one of my, when we, uh, in 2011, we had an embezzlement in my practice and I was, bro I had zero money. I had, I thought I had money and all of a sudden all, everything was gone. So first thing we did call a friend of mine and you know what, I'm going to have him play upstairs from us. He's a brilliant musician and we have a whole music stage and set up for him. He can bless all the kids. There. It's incredible what we can do now. Anyways, this guy goes, I, I said, Linnell, look, Cancel all the music lessons for you and the kids, guitar lessons, singing, because they all do that. And uh, cancel cable, cancel this, cancel that. We got rid of all this stuff. We have no money. I'll tell the, call the school, uh, Foothills, love you guys. They said, uh, why? All of them said, why? And she said, look, we just got embezzled. We just found out. And, you know, we don't know how fun. Guess what? School said, don't worry about paying for the kids. We love the kids. They're great. The guy who did the music said, I insist. I'm doing it for free. I'm not doing it. Guess what? And, my, and then, get this. My neighbor comes over and he goes, has his checkbook. He goes, Brian, what do you need to survive? What do you need? Right? That's crazy. Guess what? I didn't have to take any of those people up on it because everything worked out. But you know, when people do that, that's exactly what I'm experiencing now going through this hardship of, yeah. of stepping away from work. Everyone says, how can I help? What can I do? And guess what? Those people are going to be blessed because we're going to make sure they're successful what they do because we'll get the word out about them, help them and do it. Cause we, I appreciate it, man. They're, they give us, a, you know, when you're drowning and someone throws you a lifeline and says, I'm pulling you in, don't worry. I got your back. When Kristen said that, she said, Brian, I got your back. When you're, when you come home, when you come home from vacation, I haven't taken a vacation in at least eight years. I do medical mission trips and I come back and I'm, I, I have the, the best time there and I come back and, and my life's a nightmare. So just knowing that, that she has my back and you know, we both said, I'll, I'll take extra, I'll do whatever it takes because I want her to be happy and she wants me to be happy. And that's what it's about. Not saying, oh, I'm going to let you take more calls of me and I'm going to take, you know, it's, it's that when you're in that kind of situation, it's horrible. I've been in that situation. It's not good. So, whew. I'm yeah. sorry, I get on a roll. Kristen, tell us stuff. I, I think you've said it all. I don't have much more to add right now. I think you covered it. Just the well, excitement. It's, it's beyond exciting. I can't wait. I wish I could leave right now. I know. <laughs> we we both feel that way. It's like, man, yeah. if, 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 they, if they had that build out, I'm telling you, we're, we're going to have so much fun. Plus, you know, we can telemedicine. We, there, there's stuff we could do that I always thought, why, why don't medicine be like that? Why does the, the attorney have to drive all the way into me when he can just call me from his office to ask me a question about yes. blood pressure? I can see your blood pressure from here. It's okay. I got all your data. I got your sugars. I got everything. Let's talk about it. So it is an efficient yeah. way to, to provide care. And, and the point is two doctors are going to touch a lot of lives and, and save the system. The, the system doesn't even know how much money they're going to save. Guess what? Dialysis. Not going to happen to our patients, right? Diabetes, and blindness, one. amputations. As a matter of fact, I just yesterday, um, uh, one of my good friends from Guatemala with it, you know, I do outreach down there and I'm going to, I'm going to steal a couple of people that I know speak Spanish well to, to translate for me down there and talk to people. But a guy I talked to and two guys I talked to at the same trip, one guy said, look, 
cut your carbs. And he thought it was nuts and he was making jokes. He came into the clinic, said, he started crying, he said, my sugars are under 100 for the first time in, in eight years. You know, and you go, and the other guy said, ah, I like my chips. Guess what? They called me and said he just had his foot amputated. His oh. foot was amputated. He was the number one soccer player in Guatemala. He's like their Pele and foot amputated. You know, it's, it's that kind of stuff when you hear it, it's like that was preventable. It didn't have to happen. And now we say, gosh, it, 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 this is the reality. If, pe if people are in our practice and, and we, we talk to them and we can't help them and we can get them into counseling, we have, if worst case, you know, we have uh, it's Joan Iflin, and then we'll say, look, food, you have a yeah. food addiction. Let the expert help you. You, you get the best person. If I want to build out my, my office, I get the guy who knows what he's doing. I don't have someone who doesn't know what they're doing and, and trying it. So that's the point is we, we are going to have connections. I have connections with everyone now. You know, best resources all the, available. We all do, right? We have all these experts that we can say, ah, this, this guy, you know, Dr. Unwin, what do we do in this case? Uh, you know, yeah. we're friends with all these people. So having that, we have a lifeline. We have a phone and a friend. And, you know, this guy, Jason Fung, might know a little bit. It's, hey, Jason, what, what do we do in this situation? Oh, yeah, I see him 20 times, Brian, just do this. Tro all the time. Tro, what do you do in this situation when the cholesterol is this high? Oh, I do this. Okay, great. And he has data, and I can say, to show Tro, and he knows. He's not making up. He goes, here's yeah. my data. Look this at it, you know? <laughs> yeah. So he's a smarter guy than he looks and seems on the podcast, trust me. <laughs> now, now, Tro is one of my buddies, and, man, he's, he's fun to pick on, but I'll tell you, you know, he's, he is a true friend, and, and I'm telling you right now, so I, I, after he helps me, then I'm going to be mean to him, but. Uh, <laughs> seriously, these guys saved our careers and lives. I'm telling yeah. you, it, it is because, and then, you know, what else is interesting. Christian brought this up. When you do this kind of medicine, your malpractice goes down. Why is that? Because they know you're, you're less liability because yeah. you're, you, you're not rushing through. You, this is when you miss up. Good doctors, trust me, when I'm looking at 400 labs, I'm going to try to get through as quickly as I can. If I have five labs, I could, I, could, it, I could take all the time in the world. I got nothing to do. You know, I could stay for the obesity boards. I could do different stuff because we've, like I said, time is our, our most, time and our health. That, this kind of practice gives us the, that. Time right. and health, laughing, let my wife make a fool of herself on, uh, that doesn't know, you know, I'm just kidding. So that's yeah. fun. She's in, a, I'll be in trouble. She's drinking dry farms down there while I'm up here. So, sure. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's all that stuff of, of touching lives. That's why we did medicine. We wanted to be healers. That place is a place of healing. And it's not just going to be ours. Tro's is a place of healing. Uh, Andy Fung, you know, we're all going to unite under one umbrella. And, and, and so people can click and find all these different providers, you know, because that's important. So we have people that are going to work on that. And because if you're in a, in, in a small town, maybe there's someone two hours from me that you can go and, and then video chat with, you know, it's, it, it's a, what's going to happen. And I'm, I'm, you know, a lot of my old partners are going to see what we're doing and see our impact. And they're going to say, what am I doing here? And I hope they do. I really do. I hope they say, oh my gosh, they can go to the movies in the middle. I, by the way, I didn't tell you, Chris, <laughs> they're building a movie theater right next door to where we're at and a bar and like a, like a brewery, microbrewery and all that stuff. We'll, we'll find the low carbs one or we'll have yeah. water. Maybe. maybe we can get them to stock a keto friendly wine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll get them. We'll, we'll talk about, you know, cause, and you know what? The, the power is this. We're going to be on a, a campus with young people. It's going to be an experiment for us. So we say, look, guys, first day, parents, your kids are in good hands. We've got them. They're, they're, they're taken care of. And also, uh, look, let's, let's talk about nutrition. Guess what? At the coffee bar, they're going to have low carb stuff. They're going to do keto stuff. And these kids are going to feel better and they're going to focus better and they're going to make an impact on the world. And we're going to talk about how intermittent fasting, how, how these things help. So people are educated. So they know, and guess what? They're going to see their friends losing weight and feeling better. And they're going to do it. Mood's going to be better and spiritual that they're going to grow that much more on that Christ, uh, Christian campus. And so, you know, I've talked to three, three staff members and they need us desperately. I'm looking, I'm like, you're going to be so much fun to work with. You're a nice person. And, and, and we got you. That's what we're saying too. We got you here. We got this. We got this. We're going to look at your sugars. We're going to figure it out. We're going to get you that sugar addiction that you know you have. Let's fix, well, let's fix it. Let's work on it. And we're patient and you're going to blow it sometimes. And so are we. And then we'll work together. And, and we have time for that. Otherwise, we're annoyed by them because they're, they're too, uh, too, uh, uh, too much trouble. If they're sick. And, I mean, so many people I've, I've written off and I, I, I get annoyed with. And then all of a sudden they get it. And boom. I said, oh, gosh, yeah. I'm glad I didn't. You know, it, it happens. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But in our case, here's the deal. This is the reality. This is the truth. Um, if you're in our practice and you, you, you know, you, you just can't get it or, or you know, it, it's not in your bed. It, we don't need the money and we don't need the patients. Cause guess what? When you step out, there's gonna be 30 people waiting to come in that we can really help. So it's one of those things. It's like a, a football team. If, if, if the kid's not working hard and practicing, doesn't care, we'll bring someone else that can play, you know? And that's, and for us too, if we're not doing the job, get rid of us. That's just the reality. But we, you know, a lot of people say, look, I can't believe you're charging so little. And the point is 
The reason is we can get, we can help more people and make it affordable. And, and if you value, if we, if we get you fasting, you don't think you're going to save way more money than that. You don't think if we get you, um, uh, eating healthier, we get you off insulin, $300 a month for most people. It's, it, it's a no brainer. It really is a no brainer in big corporation. It's a no brainer. So what we're going to do is probably who knows? I don't know, but we're going to get the word out and we'll say, we'll help you get set up. We'll get you going because what's, what's going to happen. And, and Liberty university, the, 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 the COO came from there. And so they have the same thing going. They have the same deal and they're like, they're loving it, but they have a ton of patients, uh, students, like 10,000 students there. So, you know, it's, but it's direct primary care, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I really haven't talked to them yet. And we're going to have a meeting to see if they're doing keto, low carb. If not, guess what? I'm going to fly out there and I'll help them. I'll say, guys, look, there's the focus you need to have. And you're going to have healthier students. And you're going to help. And I'll come talk to the kids if I, if I can, if, They'll let me, but you know, it's one of those things that we, we, we can reach so many people sitting in my office doing labs. I could not do that. I can't be freed up to go talk at conferences. Why? Cause I, it takes time and it's time for, I don't see my family and I'm gone for a weekend. Not very good. Guess what? They're going to be sick of me now. They really will be sick of me and they won't be, they'll never, they love me, but you know, playing games, doing stuff that we haven't, you know, so when you get home at nine and you have to go to bed 10, it's hard to get stuff in. And so, um, I'm going to have Kristen do all the work. <laughs> Fair enough. No, I don't even. I don't even think we're allowed to call it work. I don't know what we call this. We have to think of something because I don't think it's work. I think we love it so much. You look forward to going. I've I've yeah. dreaded going in a lot of days and it looks like oh my gosh, I'm not going to stop today and I'm not going to get eat lunch. Thanks to Jason Fung that I could fast the lunch. But you know, just you, you take the joy out of it. I've worked hard in Guatemala. I work 14 hours and I love every second of it because I'm I'm impacting people and they love it and they show appreciation. And again, that video I did talking about that. Appreciate your doctor. Be kind to him. Maybe the standard medicine guys. Then, I mean, I see, see someone, those people went through a lot of schooling and a lot of time away from their family. They may not have the right answer right now, but they just don't know. And once they see us and hear about us, it, they're, they're going to say, let me just look into it. If they have intellectual curiosity, they're all, and they listen to the podcast and they listen to what we're doing. Um, but what's going to happen is our patients' families are going to go to their doctors and go, wait, why are you doing what these guys are doing? Look what they're doing because they can't get in to see us. And, and they're going to say, <laughs> get in, and we're going to get phone calls and we're going to have time to talk to them, you know, in between finding the best rates for our patient everywhere where we can find where, where, so that they can use their high deductible and stay safe. Um, so that's, that's what we're doing. We're excited and we'll ramble on and out. Someone has a study here, so I don't want to keep you, but um, <laughs> I'm just afraid she's going to steal all my patients because she's so cool. It's like, gosh, darn it. No. No, we'll just see her. Could you imagine like having hers covering for me and no one's going to get upset. They're going to say, Brian, go on, go on vacation more. <laughs> I, I highly doubt that will happen, but <laughs> I think we have a good team team going here. We complement each other well and, you know, female patients that would rather see a female provider. We've got that male patients. that want to see a male provider. You've got them. Well, it's, it's a good symbiotic relationship here. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to have, we're going to have a nurse practitioner help us out and we're going to have, uh, a nurse to, to do EKGs and, and stuff that while we're seeing patients or, or drinking coffee next door or whatever, you know, Kristen, I, I wish you could have been there today. You're going to see when it's built out. I can't even imagine. I, it's like, it is going to be nuts. We're going to have a total gym in there. We're going to have like a massage thing for your back. We have a kind of like, she's my favorite person. Like she's awesome. And for us, we could say, Oh, you know, my, oh, I'm a little stiff today. Right. I used to say like, go, Oh my gosh, it's going to take me an hour to get to you. Right. Seriously. And, and so, I complained when, when I went there today that, you know, we were having a little meeting about the stuff. And I said, you know, the, there's one issue is make sure we have par designated parking spots for our, our patients. So they can't, don't have to fight with students for spots. They go, no problem. And I go, the biggest problem and, and sign outside. So people know who were there. Um, but I said, you know, the biggest problem I have is, is I generally screen my podcast when I'm driving to work and back. And uh, <laughs> I can't do that anymore. My, my drive is literally two minutes and, it really is two, two minutes, maybe three. I haven't typed it, but it's ridiculous. And uh, I said, and my, my heater didn't heat up by the time I got to work because I didn't have enough time to heat it up. That, those are my two complaints. Otherwise, we have, <laughs> that's not a complaint. I'm joking. I could walk to work and, and I could listen to the podcast and I'll do that. I'm going to walk to work just for the dang point of it. So I guess, I'm, yeah, I walk to work. That's crazy. Yeah. So anyways, it is the, and I'm telling you, Kristen, I've driven by that place that, before it was the, the Christian sh the school. It was a medical, and I thought, I want that. I, I just wanted it so bad. I wanted to be in that place. I wanted to be in that place. And, and I thought it was over, and, uh, and I was going to go somewhere else and just settle. But that place is a place of healing, and the fact that it happened is absolute miracle. And the setting that it felt, and I'll talk about it sometime, it, was, it, it would never should have been 
there for us and it is and and they're using it for storage and oh. here we go and they're like we'll move that tomorrow if you come we're ready so anyways i just want to let everyone know we're super excited we're going to show you a video of the place it's i i still can't believe it it's just it's just crazy and having a, a good partner and great stuff and it's crazy so we'll keep you we may be fighting next time we'll see but i don't think so I, don't think I hope so. not. <laughs> but, but everyone, hey, thanks for listening. But I just want, we just want to give you a glimpse behind the scenes. And this will definitely go to Patreon first and make sure, um, you know, those of you who supported Low Carb MD, we greatly appreciate it. Really, uh, again, if you didn't do what you did, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. You know, we would we could would have burned out if no one's listening and no one's paying. We're not going to spend our money on that stuff. So it was the best investment I ever made, really, uh, saying, I'll cover it. Let's make it happen. Let's get the word out. Let's get good people. And guess what? Here's the advantage we have now from these two knuckleheads starting this stuff and Jason joining us and helping us out and giving us some, some credibility. Um, now, guess what? You want to start a practice in, in Arkansas? Guess what? Come on on. We'll talk about your journey, what you're doing. We'll help set you up and you're good to go. You got 300 patients walking and you have no, <laughs> trust me, when we, when we hear how many patients want to come to, it's like, okay, it's like, this is dumb. It's like, why were we so stressed? I mean, serious stress. Like I, I was joking. I was throwing up blood. It was like, how long, when does that go away? It's like, we're taking thumbs and, and trying to help people. But the point is this, this is going to get out and it's going to be major. And so we're glad to help you. You need it. Call Tro. He'll tell, we'll let Tro do all the work. We'll, we'll just sit here and have fun and drink coffee and play ping pong. Are you good at ping pong and pool? Cause we're going to have. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. All right. It's yeah. all good. And they have, and they have that little basketball shooting thing and we got all the kids stuff. We're like, so stoked. Anyways, we're going to have fun. I'll bet you. We'll see who wins the basketball. We'll, we'll let you guys know. Oh, I played there. basketball in high school. Oh, no, forget it. Never mind. They have a basketball <laughs> team. See, they have a basketball team and they have all kinds of uh, baseball. And, you know, one of the physical therapists, and, you know, used to play professional baseball. So it's really cool. Like, you know, it's just cool people we're going to be around. It's like, it's going to be like calm all day and cool and not like high stress. So anyways, I've, I've sold this enough and, and we're really probably not even looking for patients at, at this point, really. But it's really uh, great because we want to inspire other people to do it, you know, and, and again, you know, if, if you need help, you know, direct primary care group people are, have been fantastic and, and uh, the low carb community is the best. I mean, they've helped me every step of the way and uh, just educate yourself and know and say, look, what does the data show? If I'm a skeptic, look at it. I had to do it. We both did. You know, we both said, look, low fat, don't do this. You eat six times a day. And then you realize I'm not having success. But I got to change what I'm doing. If you're not successful at weight loss or stress control, what you're doing is not working. Let's Let's get counseling. Let's get you the right trainer, whatever it is. We can look at the problem and maybe we, we don't fix it as docs, but we can get you the right people. And that's exciting because we may even just say, go see this psychiatrist, go see this person that you don't even, you're not even our patient. They can just help you. So, um, and we're hoping to get a lot of people on the podcast so we could give them a platform like the two keto dudes gave me to start out. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. And, and so, and Jason Fung giving us credibility. So, you know, all that stuff, I think, we're all working together. We're figuring this out and we may change what we're doing a little bit. We may say, look, Brian, here, here's what's working for me. And then we kind of learn just like Tro and I have with each other and, and having him as a mentor and setting us up is awesome. So I'll stop rambling, but thank you so much. We appreciate you and we will keep you posted on our, our journey. Yes. You want to close this, Kristen? No, just super excited to be working with you and starting our direct primary care metabolic health clinic in San Diego. And it's, it's going to be great. And I hope it starts a trend for other physicians to follow. We'll help them. All right. We're gone.